pigs are really big. I didn't know that cows eat granola bars and cereal. Of a 1,300 pound cow, only one cup of fluid doesn't get used. Many people are disconnected from where their food comes from, especially youth. Uh, the idea was if we could teach them where their food comes from with, with actual experiences of, of seeing uh, the livestock or the grains or the bees, the apple trees, uh, the dairy cattle, uh, that they might reconnect with actually where their food comes from, not just off the shelf or through the drive through The kids got a, a great uh, opportunity to learn about a lot of not only where their food comes from, but a lot of the occupations that are incorporated into the, uh, the food industry and, and agriculture industry. So the kids were responsible for selecting recipes, creating a grocery list, going to the grocery store, dividing up in teams, purchasing the supplies, and then coming back to the office and preparing their lunches. We did have two of our Extension Association of New Mexico, our EANM members, come in and assist the kids. One provided an opportunity for the kids to learn how to make biscuits from scratch. And then we did have another of our EANM members who has gone through NMSU's Master Food Preservation Program. She came in and she visited with the kids about food preservation and provided them with an opportunity to experience um, food preservation by having them make freezer jam. And as you can imagine, that was a favorite experience of the kids. The youth had an opportunity to practice um, mealtime manners and also they learned about food safety and kitchen safety as they had a lot of responsibility working with kitchen tools um, and equipment that can be dangerous. We set some pretty high expectations for the youth participating in the camp. They took pictures and video. They were also responsible for interviewing the producers and growers that we visited and then capturing the experience um, not only like I said with pictures and video but also in writing up a script. Um, we had the expectation that at the end of the six-day camp the youth would be um, presenting their experiences to a group of approximately 30 to 40 adults. The participants not only met our expectations, they exceeded our expectations. 